Are you the kind of person that can't leave well enough alone? Well, I am. Bigfoot Renovation, day one. So Carl and I have been talking about doing some renovations on our camper. Even though we like it the way it is, uh, there's always room for improvement and, and do a few updates and that sort of thing. So we're not exactly sure what all we're going to be doing. Uh, we are planning on tearing the floor out. I'm going to redo the floor. Probably going to uh, either relaminate the countertops and the table or going to actually just pull them out and just completely replace them. Either way, I'm going to have to pull them out uh, to relaminate them or whatever I'm going to do. Um, we do have a few ideas of what we're going to do. Um, so if y'all have any suggestions or anything like that, uh, that, you know, maybe send them our way and maybe, maybe we'll look at doing them. Uh, right now, we're planning on the flooring, the countertops, possibly a new kitchen sink, faucet, uh, maybe adding some exterior lights. Um, may, I do want to change the wheels out at some point, but not a big deal. Um, some front uh, struts for the uh, front storage box. Uh, I already bought the struts probably six months ago, but um, I just need to get off my butt and install them and put them on. But uh, that I really want to do. I'm looking forward to having that on there so the lids don't fall in my head. Um, what else were we talking about? Maybe something to uh, extend the, load, the the end of the the dinette seat where you can pop, pop, pop it up and put your legs on it. Um, just to extend it out a little bit, uh, I'm going to maybe uh, do some decals and, and uh, some rubber trim around the windows and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we get into. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start on the floor. I'm going to start pulling out the vinyl flooring and uh, see what's underneath it. Uh, I don't really know. Um, it, uh, I'm guessing it is probably fiberglass underneath the floor. Um, it may have wood underneath it. Um, in our casita, when I pulled the carpet out of it, it actually had a fiberglass floor. I was thinking it was going to have wood underneath the carpet, but it didn't. So, uh, so I'm guessing this is probably the same way. Probably has fiberglass under there. So I'm going to pull it all out. Start with that. Probably not going to finish the floor first thing. I'll probably pull it all out. I'm going to have to pull the toilet out. Um, that's another thing. Probably going to replace that with a uh, porcelain toilet. That's what we're kind of planning on. So I'm going to pull the carpet out, get that clean. And then probably along the along the way, we're going to go ahead and pull the countertops out and the tabletop and, and all that and uh, get to work on that. So I'll probably have multiple projects going on at the same time, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Stay tuned. By the way, Carla's at work and she doesn't know that I'm about to start this, but I figured now's a good time as any. I'm going to go ahead and start tearing it up. To get the electric cover off, it takes a star bit, not the square one. Breaker panel, I should say. Well, it looks like I might be wrong. This actually has wood underneath the vinyl flooring, as you can see there. I'm actually thankful about that. It'd be a little bit easier to put some new vinyl flooring down. Uh, a little easier than dealing with uh, fiberglass and trying to smooth it out and that old deal. So cool. Going to keep on going. I'm going to go ahead and work on getting a bunch of it done and I'll be back in a little bit.
new razor blade. So there it is, all the vinyl flooring's out. Good to see that it's actual real plywood beneath the, the vinyl flooring. Some trailers have, uh, you know, OSB or particle board, that sort of thing, but this actually has full uh, real plywood all the way through it. So I had to go ahead and pull the toilet out and uh, disconnect the water line. So I can put the new floor down around that. This area back in here was a little tricky reaching back in there with the razor blade. And the uh, bathroom area was a little tricky as well just because it was tight. But it uh, came out pretty well. Actually it didn't take too long to pull all the flooring out. So I got a little bit more touch up and clean up to do on it. I got to get the rest of that glue down that's uh, over there that uh, stuck down pretty good. I think the sun must have baked it on. But uh, that's it for the floor for now. What do you think? Come in. Yep. It's gone. It's gone. It's all gone. Just start over. Start fresh. Good job. Looks like it may have taken a lot of work. It was a good bit of work. It wasn't too bad. You excited? Change the floor out? Yes. Especially because we had a stain right here. Yeah. That bug dust. So. so now we got to pick out some flooring. Yeah, I'm really excited about this renovation. I'm, I'm excited about having new floors in the camper and and um, surprised that he did it while I was away today. <laughs> it's, always, it's always a surprise to find out what he's done when he's got a little time and he's at home by himself. That's usually when I start projects <laughs> is uh, when Carla's at work, I tear into something. So, so. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to the floor. Uh, the countertops and everything we're going to do so if anybody has any suggestions ideas or you know or any comments or whatever tips uh, tips please let us know yeah. uh, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and we'll see you next time on runaway roses bye 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 when carla's away the tools come out to play bigfoot renovation Day one. There's nothing like buying a stupid expensive camper and then tearing it up. Bigfoot renovation. Day one.